My name is Nandini Bhattacharya. I am a lecturer and I teach a lot of the introductory gateway courses such as college algebra, pre-calculus, calculus, etc. If one word uh, is used to describe my teaching style, it's relaxed but rigorous at the same time. So I like to have a classroom environment which is um, conducive to students' learning. Students are comfortable asking questions, interacting with the lecturers. I encourage questions from students. So it's that fine balance of having an active learning environment with covering material in depth is what I would say is the, is the core of my teaching staff. So when I first uh, started teaching these large lectures, I think I had less of an idea about my audience. I kind of thought these are all the things that they already knew, therefore they should be able to do uh, all these different things that I came to, class, uh, came to class with. But over the period of time, I realized that students come from diverse backgrounds, they come from different kind of schools, they come with different levels of preparation. The, the knowledge that I have gathered over the time as a teacher is really knowing my audience and not assuming uh, certain standards uh, that you kind of think from sometimes if you are in higher education for many years. So I try not to get detached from their learning experience and what they have just experienced coming out of K through 12. So first of all, I think I my, I'm sincere and I, I think my students feel that I do care for their education and which is indeed one of the strong uh, kind of the philosophy on which I, I teach is I do care about their success. I, took, I do make, want to make sure I want to mentor them, I want to help them and their success is very important because that's how I am successful as a teacher. Last quarter, I taught a Math 2 course, which is the college algebra course. So these students are probably our weakest students in mathematics because they often did not take math on their, on the, in their freshman year or first quarter here. And a large number of them actually did not pass Math 2 in the fall. So keeping them engaged during lecture, I was noticing that it is very difficult. So what I started doing is I would teach them a concept and then I would do a couple of examples with them and then I'll have them work out a certain example. And they would pair up, so they would work with their neighbor. And I have the MSI undergraduate uh, tutors in the classroom sitting in and myself and they will walk around and help out the students. And then I'll go and talk more. So kind of broke up this monotonous one, talking with some interactive learning where they explain it to each other, they solve the problems together. So uh, a typical class size for me is anywhere around 450, 460, 470. So technology is a strong comp um, kind of a communication platform for me to communicate with my students. So I create a website, I have all my teaching class notes and everything that is related to the class in the website. But I, most of the instruction that I do for my students is not through technology, that is more in person. So I like to have kind of a hybrid or kind of like a learning environment where I use technology for communication to reaching out to students, to getting them all the material I need to post my class notes, put uh, things that I want them to look at before coming to class. But the actual teaching, the actual instruction is done in person during lecture, during office hours, the mentoring is done and in outside the classroom. So I use a um, couple of online homework tools to have them do their homework. So one is a very standard one where they have three tries and the questions are typical from the textbook. But I have also implemented a homework system called um, assessment learning in knowledge space, which is a product that uh, McGraw Hill has. It's a it's a it's a commercial product. But what this program is very different than the other type of online instruction, because it's a mastery learning approach. 
so they actually have to master the material up to certain point in order to move forward in their homework so in the college algebra course i have implemented that program because i felt that that was the quickest way to level out the their algebraic preparation as they came to UCSC because some of them did not come with a very strong algebra background and algebra is often a barrier for them to moving forward in other mathematics courses. So that was one of the online um, program that I have implemented as part of their homework too, which is the Alex program. The two courses that I teach, um, and I have been kind of teaching those since 2007, is college algebra which is math 2 and pre-calculus which is math 3 and those students are mostly students uh, the, a lot of the students in those are from Latino African American background and over the years these classes really lost a lot of money a lot of resources so if indeed we are trying to be a Hispanic serving institution and we are bringing in all these students I believe that we really have to be a little bit more responsible about their teaching experience and making sure that we are really retaining these students on our campus. And I believe that if we indeed want to be known as a institution that thrives with diversity, which I, I, I strongly believe we do, and that's the identity I have, I feel we have to be a little bit more careful about what is their learning experience especially the first year of them being away from home. So first of all, I start working with them from the bridge program in the summer before they come. So, and then I build some relationships with them so that they actually come and seek out my help when they need it. Uh, they often are in my office hours and I work with them. I work with them beyond my office hours if needed. I, um, you know, figure out resources for them if I feel like, for example, getting them, you know, making sure they, they find a tutor through LSS or, you know, getting some uh, a textbook through by going and talking to the UP counselors. Uh, diversity is something that is such a force, such an incredible force that if we can really figure out some resources and we can figure out some learning environments for these students and, you're, you, and you, can, you can offer that in your classroom, the, the benefit as a teacher sometimes what I feel is I feel very fortunate and I feel such a benefit for my, for my students that, that sometimes it's like it's a reciprocal kind of a feeling. When your students feel benefited, the, the job satisfaction you get is simply incredible.